This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to join an existing home group. Now, I've already created a home group on another computer and all I need to do to join that is to type in home group here since it's, we're on the same network and it will tell me that that home group exists. So you type in home group in the search bar and it comes up and it shows you the home group that exists right here and that uh, gives you some other options. So you just click on join now and you're going to list what you want to share. If you want to share documents, pictures, music, videos, printers, I'm going to do another video on how to connect a printer uh, that is on the network but not on the computer uh, that you're on. So I'm going to go ahead and click next and I'm just going to enter the password right in here. It is case sensitive. Uh, and I have another video which I'll put a link to that tells you how to find that password on the computer that you've uh, already created a home group. Had we not created a home group, it wouldn't have said join, it would have said create home group. And it would have generated the password which we could then check. So you just click next and you just wait and it's going to connect to the home group that exists. And in this case, I have a couple other computers on my home group, so I can use the devices on those computers so that I can print without having a, com a printer connected to this computer. And this happens to be uh, connected uh, via wireless USB to my network, so it basically enables me to do wireless printing. So it's a nice feature of home group, and if I want to stream music on this computer, I could do that as well. And you just click on finish and we have just had a little error popping up until it finished connecting everything now it's connected everything so that's all there is to it now I should be able to go and check on the other computers and add another uh, device as well so let's go in and what we would do if we want to add another device like a printer we would simply go to our devices and uh, in this case I had already connected this printer but let me just delete it so I can show you and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, add a printer up here and I'm going to add a network or wireless Bluetooth printer now this printer that I'm adding is not a wireless printer and it is connected to another computer so uh, here it is listed right here and it's also listed right here. Now this is actually the computer that it is physically connected to so I'll be the fastest connection I can get. So I'm going to add that one. And it's going to pull over drivers. Uh, sometimes it helps to add the drivers to your computer first but it will actually uh, have the drivers since I have the same operating system on both of these computers it makes it pretty simple and you can just print a test page to make sure everything prints and I hear it printing in the background over there so I know that it's good to go. So now we have a printer connected even though my computer is wireless and I don't have a wireless printer this is a great way to add a wireless printing uh, to your network. Thanks for tuning in again this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if you uh, need to look at other tutorials uh, you can Click the link in the description below this video and it will take you to pinehurstwebsites.com.